Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming back to our part two of the show. Uh, today, of course, uh, as we shared with you earlier, we have Dr. Renee LaSanta, and uh, Dr. Renee LaSanta is a chiropractor, practiced in chiro a chiropractor for over 11 years, and uh, he's teaching currently an instructor with Dawson High School and also adjunct faculty with the Texas Mainland College. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, let's jump into our topic again. Okay, cool. uh, we're so excited that you're here. Uh, earlier, you mentioned about the um, the signs and symptoms, or perhaps maybe a parent can identify yes. how um, how perhaps their child may have been carrying all these heavy backpacks all this time. Or can you share with us the list and, and signs and symptoms? So yes. This way, our parents can right. can uh, stop the right. <laughs> the children. Yes. yes. Uh, and this and this um, these warning signs. I mean, you can find them anywhere, but this is uh, from the National Safety Council, of the United States of America. Uh, one of the things that that really intrigued me about uh, uh, doing this uh, campaign and preventing back injuries, uh, not just because I'm a chiropractor, but uh, the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission stated that in 2007, there were over 21,000 back injuries that were treated due to the, to the fact that uh, the heavy backpacks. Mm. Uh, the injuries range from contusions to sprains and strains of the back to shoulders and to actual fractures, mm. okay? Uh, and the fractures came in the, in, the, in the form of stress fractures from having too heavy a backpack in the legs and stress fractures in the shoulders. Uh, some of the warning signs that we talked about earlier was uh, changing changes in the posture. Okay, so you're gonna see the child, instead of sitting up, they're gonna be, you know, cause the body is gonna want to go into a, a posture where it's comfortable for itself. Um, you're gonna sit, uh, see the child struggling to put the backpack on and to take it off. Uh, they're not going to be able to do it easily, and you should be able to do it easily. Um, there's going to be pain when they're wearing the backpack. They're going to complain of pain when you wear the backpack. And uh, I talked about numbness and tingling in the shoulders and in the uh, hands. You also have some numbness in the, in the neck area also. Okay? And because of the heaviness of the backpack, when the child takes their clothes off, the parents should notice if there's any permanent red marks or, or red marks that stay for a long time. Uh, these are basic signs that the backpack is too heavy and the parents should be trying to do something with the backpack to make sure that that, uh, that, that doesn't happen. So we adhere to the 15% rule and then we should be okay. 10 to 15% we should be all fine. The younger the child, the less weight. Now if you have a 200 pound child, you know, they can go up to 30 pounds, you know. They can carry 30 pounds. <laughs> but a 100-pound per, 100 person like yourself, Biliana, you can't carry 30 pounds in your back. That would, def, that would definitely cause some, some long-term problems. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Um, so we talked uh, earlier about also how to wear the backpack. Okay. And so um, first of all, a lot of times, uh, and if I may, um, we as parents, we go to these different department stores and say, oh, this is a cute backpack, or this is a nice looking backpack, or your friends will like this because it's colorful, but we don't look at the safety features of the backpack, okay? And I brought along a backpack, if I may. Yes. Uh, to show, um, I don't necessarily endorse this brand, but I do endorse this type of backpack. And this backpack has a lot of gadgets on it, yes. has a lot of pockets. Mm -hmm. The more pockets, that the backpack has, mm -hmm. the better it is because you can distribute the weight. Oh. Okay, and that's the main feature, okay? So this particular backpack, this is the one I bought for my son, has a pocket on the outside where he can put uh, pens or pencils, he can put his wallet or something like that. Mm -hmm. On this side he can put his little drink, and that's on the side. Um, the other thing that you wanna look on the backpack is on the back part, you wanna make sure that it has some sort of padding mm -hmm. for the muscles, Right. okay? This padding on the bottom is for the low muscles, low back and then you have the padding for the muscles of on either side of the spine okay and if what it what it causes it causes it causes a an inner portion here where the air can get in here and you're not having a lot of stress on the spine itself I see okay so this also this pack back also has a an opening in the back the heavier the object the books and everything the heavier the object the closer to the spine that you want it to go because you want it to actually, you know, give it some support also. Right. So uh, that's why I recommend a backpack like this one. You don't have to buy this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you are going to spend probably a little bit more money than what you would normally would uh, on, on a cheaper type of, 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 of cheaper, cheaper brand. 
Um, the more pockets, the more areas that you can distribute the weight within the backpack, the better it is for the child. Yes. I also recommend you getting a backpack that has a handle. Okay, uh, that way the, the, the child can actually pick up the backpack and move it from side to side. Okay, so Biliana, if you may, mm -hmm. okay, stand up for me. This is how, <coughs> turn around for me, okay. Right, so this is how a lot of students, go ahead and loosen it all. Oh. Yeah. So this is how a lot of students like to wear their backpacks. Because it looks cool that way, okay. Dr. Lasanta. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So they like to wear it like this. So, Biliana, is that comfortable? Mm, not really. Okay. So if you were to walk, how would you have to walk? You have to bend forward, right? Yeah. So bend forward. Bend forward. So this, see, see what happens here? It causes an abnormal curvature of the spine, right? Okay? And all of the weight is down past the buttocks. Okay? So the standard is that the back, the bottom of the backpack should be no more than two inches past the waist. Right? Mm. Okay? So stand up for me. Go ahead and straight, uh, tighten that up for me. We don't want it to be too tight. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay? We don't want it to be too tight, okay? And so, pick it up a little bit more. There you go, all right, so if you turn, if you turn like this, if you notice, the waist is here and the backpack sits right on the waist. And that's where you want it to sit, okay? Um, in the top part, you want the top of the backpack to be right at the top or slightly below the top of your uh, scapula or the top, top of your shoulder blades, okay? And that's where you're gonna, you don't want it too tight on the shoulders. Turn around for me. You don't want it too tight on the shoulders and you want the width of the shoulder bands here to be wide and not thin because they'll start cutting into this. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Bianca. My goodness, no wow. Problem. I never knew that a backpack can be that detailed. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, yes. how do you put a backpack on? So We just put it on one side and that's it. <laughs> All right, so can you get that white, white um, binder for me? Mm -hmm. so we're gonna add a little bit of weight to the back, okay? So we're gonna put that in the back part mm -hmm. because it's big. All right. Okay, so we're gonna add a little weight to it, just a little bit. Now this is about five pounds, six, mm -hmm. five or six pounds. Mm -hmm. So you're almost at your limit. Wow. <laughs> My goodness, that's all. Yes. I carry a lot of them. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, you're almost, so you weigh about what, 100? Um, 108. 108, okay, so 108, so we're looking at uh, maybe 18 pounds that you can wear, okay? Mm. So this is about seven and a half pounds, so you're about halfway through. Oh, wow. So, so yeah. if you put anything else in here, it's going to be a little bit more than what you should wear, mm -hmm. right? So let's say the, the the bag is on the ground, all right? The bag is on the ground. So well, how should we pick things up? So we're going to bend our knees. We're gonna, I, this is the way I like to do it. I pick it up and I put it on a chair, okay? So you use, and then you pick up the straps with both hands, okay? So you put one arm in first, okay? And you hold it, then you put the other arm in. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. So that so Liliana's going to demonstrate okay. for us how to do that. So you pick it up, put it. Put there. on the chair. Mm -hmm. Take it by both hands. Both both straps. Okay. Put one in first. There you go. Okay. And then the and other you can one. Put the other one in. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Yes. Now some some um, some backpacks bring a strap to go in around the front. So if that if that you do have a backpack that has a a waist strap, use the waist strap because it'll stabilize the rest of it. Because mm. I think yours has waist strap. What about if they carry it to the front? Because sometimes I've seen uh, like some people, yes, this sometimes they, yeah, sometimes I've seen the carry just yes, from walking carry, around. They carry it like this? <laughs> yes. This is, this is very bad. Okay. Very bad. Okay. Because then you have to lean too back, far back. Right. Because, so this is perfect. Thank you, Billy. Wow. <clears throat> Can I put this forward? Thank yeah. you. Okay. That, that, um, so, um, you, you should have, you should be able to, to, to lighten what they call lighten the load, mm -hmm. pack lightly, mm -hmm. and wear correctly. Mm -hmm. So if you pack light, no more than 15% of your body weight. Now I could probably carry a whole lot because I'm pretty heavy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, my son weighs 114 pounds. He can't carry that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the most he might be able to carry is maybe 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I make sure that I watch him carefully. Um, at home, when he leaves the house, 
it's hard to kind of regulate what they're doing. But at home, I, at least I can say, put it on right, uh, pull the straps up, uh, so um, so that his so you have good good back, uh, good back, and you can prevent the injuries from happening. Nice. Right. Very good. Thank you. All right. So, what are some other tips you have for carrying different types of backpacks? Because I know there's more than one. Uh, yes. Okay. So we have we just demonstrated the one with the two straps. They do have the the backpack, or they want to call it the shoulder pack, mm -hmm. that goes across. Um, personally. I don't recommend that. Uh, it's it's like carrying it's it's like carrying uh, uh, your backpack on one side on one side because what what happens is that if you carry if you carry the backpack across then you have all the weight on one side and guess what are you doing you're going that way to wherever the side the weight is so you're trying to struggle your body is struggling to bring it and and walk erect like we should be walking mm -hmm. so you're have, you're struggling constantly struggling mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, but personally I don't recommend that same thing goes with that 10 to 15 percent if you're going to use it please uh, make sure that the the uh, that the strap that goes across is a minimum four inches mm -hmm. and it's padded oh wow okay. like so, this one right here yes. brilliant if you can demonstrate this back right here and then maybe perhaps show the luggage as well yes the luggage to, we to can do will, that. Oh. Will. all right so oh look at this is so cute <laughs> okay so this one here okay now they make these things Okay, come on, Mia. <coughs> Isn't this cute? I love <laughs> <laughs> It didn't say so hello, kitty. Okay. Oh, you <laughs> take this out <laughs> right there. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So, so, but you have to have it some way, right? You're not going to. Mm -hmm. So let's put it together. So normally you don't take this out, right? Normally you just put it on like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what I want you to want to show you something here. The, 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 the strap is fine. Okay. So bring it up, go ahead and tighten it up for me. Okay. Now, for all intents and purposes, it's in the center of the back where it should be. But what is, where is the weight distributed? The weight is not distributed evenly. So we put the same book that we have in here into this one, she's going to actually go this way. Okay, and that's gonna cause a lot of problems in her back because mm -hmm. her muscles have to struggle to bring her back erect. Right. I don't recommend this. It's they look good, okay? I don't personally recommend them for children, mm, okay? I see. Now, if you ride a motorcycle, they're perfect. <laughs> 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 yes, and uh, would, uh, how about this bag? And now this also is the purse? Yes. Oh, the purse. Yes. Okay. Um, lucky, luckily for Ileana, <laughs> she doesn't have much in here, so that's good. Um, you really shouldn't carry a lot on your, and if you notice the strap is very thin. Mm -hmm. So the strap, you know, and, and a lot of women carry their purses like this. Yes, we do, Okay, we do. So, and then they carry everything from their house in their purse. <laughs> okay, so they carry, they carry everything in the house from their purse, mm -hmm. and it causes them to do this, mm -hmm. okay? And so when they get home, they say, oh, my shoulders hurt, okay? Well, that comes from the weight that's digging into this area where the brachial plexus is. Okay, so these type of purses should always be carried light and across the shoulder, mm -hmm. just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Light, mm -hmm. don't put, uh, I wouldn't put more than what's in there right now, you know, maybe a couple of pounds or something like that at the most. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe your billfold and your makeup and that's it, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe your keys, yes. okay? Yes. So that's it, but the strap should be wider, okay? Mm -hmm. The strap is kind of, kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty, but you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, and it looks good. Yes. Uh, but yes. It, it can cause problems if it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Yes. So uh, what about this black uh, back right here too? Uh, perhaps you can show. The <clears throat> I recommend carrying this backpack, this, ba this bag like this, mm -hmm. just like this. Oh. Okay. I do not recommend you putting this on your shoulder. Oh, wow. Um, this is made out of uh, this is made out of rubber, mm -hmm. and it can actually dig into your skin. Mm. Okay, uh, so something like this. I know a lot of people will carry it like mm -hmm. this, or mm -hmm. they'll carry it like this. Mm -hmm. All right, but I recommend if you're going to have a briefcase type of of, of, of uh, uh, luggage or a briefcase type of, of, of apparatus, then you carry it just like it was meant to be carried. I see. Just like that. I see. Okay. And then what about the luggage? The luggage. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the luggage. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now. Let's say that we are in an airplane, okay? Because this is where we're gonna have, you know. So let's say it's a carry-on an airplane. So what's recommended is that you, is this heavy? Not too heavy. <laughs> so what's recommended is that when you pick it up, first of all, you know, you're gonna squat. You're gonna lift 
you're going to pick this up and you're going to set it on the back of the of the of the chair or the back of the seat mm -hmm. okay then you're going to go underneath it and you're going to lift it up and put it inside mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. never pick it up like this with one hand and then because you're going to hurt your, your shoulder mm -hmm. right okay mm -hmm. this type of luggage has wheels mm -hmm. and when you have wheels where is it uh, it's on top yes uh, right here. Is it on this side? Yes. Right. yes. Okay. Yes, you open right. it. Yes. Is, is it? Oh, is it here? Um, here it is. Oh, yes, here it is. Sorry. All right. <laughs> we are in the habit of... Can you move the chair, Yes. We are in the habit of doing this. Taking this and going like that. Mm -hmm. You should actually push. Because mm. you have more you have more strength in your legs. So you're pushing. So you're pushing the bag, so you either push the bag to the, you're on the right, or you can push the bag on the left, mm -hmm. or you can push the bag in front of you. You yes. should never do this. Because if you see the angle of my shoulder, mm -hmm. okay, and so I'm putting a lot of stress on my shoulder, and I'm putting less, no stress on anywhere else. And you should actually be using your lower legs and your, your, your back to push versus pull. Very okay. interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, uh, the box? Okay. The box. Yeah. So, my the next box? Okay. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. That's the question. Right, right. So, my next question is how to lift up a heavy box. Because, you know, at, at my workplace, there's a, a number of um, uh, nurse aides that um, carry patients and this and that. Okay. And they didn't do it the right way, so they, uh, they hurt their back. Right. So, if you don't mind showing us how okay, to sure, carry no it or uh, lift okay. it so if, the right if, way. If, is, this, is this heavy? If you notice what I did first is I tested it right. to make sure that it was too heavy. A box this big, you should have two people pick it up. Right. Okay? So what we're gonna do is, if you don't mind, doctor, no, no, no. you just squat on that side. Right. And I squat on this side. Right. Okay? And we're gonna go, we're gonna turn the box a little bit to the side. Right. We'll put one hand underneath, and I'll bring my other hand. And then on the count of three, we're both gonna lift it. One, two, three. We right. lift it up. And then Either way, I'm gonna go my way, I'm gonna go your way, and then one person will say, okay, on three, we'll start. So on three, we'll just, we'll just go my way. On three, right. we'll go my way, right. and we'll just take a step. Everybody's taking a step at the same time. Right. Okay? And then on three, we'll, we'll set it back down. One, two, three, right. we'll set it back down. But you have to bend your legs. Right. So that's how you do a box like that. If it was smaller, it would be different, but you always test it, always test it to make sure that it's not too heavy and you need somebody else to carry it. Anything bigger than this, I want to get two people to carry it, even right. if it's light. Right. Because what happens if you have it in front of you, you don't know where you're going, you're going to run into something. Right. Mm. Okay. Yes. Would you, um, I understand it also with, um, there's so much of a back operation. Yes. And, um, is it? Do you think it's necessary to have back operation as uh, one gets older and mm, in advanced no. age? No. No. Uh, I, I think each case is separate. Each case is different. Mm -hmm. I think back uh, back surgery should be used as a last resort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should always seek uh, other types of treatment. Mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be chiropractic. It could be physical therapy, occupational. It could be aquatics, whatever. Before you actually have uh, back surgery. Uh, mm -hmm. Back surgery, um, we're not cars where you can take out a, a part and put a new part in, okay? Mm -hmm. So when, when the part comes out, it's going to stay out for, for good. So uh, in, my op in my opinion, back surgery should only be last resort, okay? After you've exhausted everything else to, 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 uh, to succeed, okay, and all other treatment have been not successful, then you may entertain the, the, the subject of back surgery. Do you have any um, strengthening exercises for the back? Strengthening exercises. Okay, yes. So let's do a couple of exercises. Okay. I know time is running. So let's do a couple of exercises. And so the first uh, exercises, exercise that I want to do is called um, the half squat. Okay, so the half squat, if you guys want to help me, mm -hmm. yes. the half squat, we're going to, and you can do this two to three times a day, and you want to hold for five seconds each. So half squat, you can put your arms out just for balancing. You're gonna squat halfway, okay? You're gonna look up, and you're gonna hold for five seconds. Three, four, five. You're gonna bring your hands down to your knees. You're gonna arch your back, and you're gonna come up and roll your back. 
mm. like this, okay? So that's one. That's a Should good stretch. Should we do stretch. that a quick sideways? Yeah, you can do sideways, okay. okay? So let's go ahead and start, all right? Go ahead and start, okay? Look up. One, two, three. Very good, very good. And if you do this two or three times a day, two or three times each time that you do it, that will be good. Another good thing is the chin, the chin tuck, okay? So in the chin tuck, some people can't, can't bring their chin back. So you use your two fingers and you can push it back. So you take your chin, look straight forward, and push your chin back, and hold it three, four, five, and then relax it back forward. And you do that three or four times, okay? And that would definitely help strengthen the muscles. The other thing you can do is you can join a gym or buy you some weights, <laughs> and then you can strengthen, strengthen that way. Walking is a good uh, strengthening exercises for the low back and your, and your lower body. Okay? Um, Sit-ups and uh, crunches, because if you have a strong abdomen, you're going to have a strong back also. Wow, we have learned so much today, right. and uh, Dr. Chi Pham, if you'd like to speak in Vietnamese to share this information with our audience. Thưa quý vị khán giả, thì quý vị cũng đã thấy rồi cái này giống như là so and tell, tức là mình nói đến đâu thì mình 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 chỉ ra đến đó. Thành ra có lẽ là chị cũng không phải thông dịch lại nhiều. Nhưng mà đại khái cái điều quan trọng như quý vị cũng biết cái điều quan trọng nhất là đặc biệt ở nhà mình đó, thì nhiều khi mình phải khiêng mấy cái vật nặng trong nhà đó, thì lúc nào cũng dùng cái chân của mình. À, kiếp cái, cái lưng của mình thẳng dùng cái chân của mình để mà dùng cái muscle tức là cái, cái cái cơ bắp trong cái chân của mình để mà nâng cái vật nặng nó lên chứ không có nên là dùng cái lưng tại vì nếu mà quý vị dùng cái lưng mà bên cái lưng tức là làm cái lưng cong xuống thì có nhiều nguy cơ là có thể là bị trật lưng hay là bị tổn thương đến cái lưng thành ra nếu mà chị mà tóm tắt lại một điều quan trọng nhất thì chị nghĩ cái điều đó quan trọng nhất tại vì à, vật nặng trong nhà thì nhiều khi có nhiều lắm đặc biệt quý, quý vị mà hơi lớn tuổi tí xíu đó thì nên thận trọng cái việc đó tại khi mà mình mà bị trật lưng mà cái tuổi mình nó cao thì nó khó lành à, người trẻ thì nó có thể là trong vài ngày nhưng mà người già thì có thể đến vài tuần thành ra quý vị nên thận trọng cái điều đó tiếng mỹ đôi lúc nó gọi là uh, use your head to sell your back tức là mình phải suy nghĩ trước khi nào mình 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 khiêng cái vật như nặng để mình đừng có làm tổn thương cái lưng của mình thưa quý vị Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much uh, for joining us in our show. Thank you, Dr. Lasanta, for being for here today. Yes. Uh, thank you, Billyana, for being with thank us. Thank you, Billyana. And uh, <laughs> as always, thank you, Dr. Chi Pham, for joining us uh, on our show, our health show, which is uh, um, the For Daily Living Health Show. Thank you so much again. And cảm ơn quý vị rất là rất là nhiều đã theo dõi chương trình của chúng tôi. Đó là sức khỏe thưởng thức. Thưa kính chào quý khán giả. Ven TV 55.2.